Husband helps and rescues injured biker on a trail, but turns out he starts a secret mysterious relationship with a woman biker. My husband does downhill biking. Has done since he was very young, knows his stuff, he's out there every day. Generally rides with the same group of guys but they mostly stick to weekends. My husband goes out every day of the week luckily because his job allows him to. If Hess out on his own generally weekdays, and the dogs are free, he'll take the dogs. They love it. So around six months ago he was out in the morning, with the dogs, and ended up coming home earlier than usual. While he was out he found this girl who fell off and had badly injured her arm slash wrist. As you can imagine, Hess done the same numerous times, knew exactly what to do and where to go to get seen quicker. He got her to the car park, packed the dogs and bikes up and took her to the GP who referred her to hospital, and he came home. All good. Around a week after this one of the guys he rides with sent him a screenshot of a post in a Facebook group that was made for people specifically who build and maintain the bike trails. It went something like, I'm looking for someone called, insert husband's name here, who helped me last week when I fell and got me to hospital. He drove a, husband's truck, and had three dogs, then listed our dog's names. She had posted in a few groups before being linked to the group for the trail builders, who my husband goes out there with. My husband isn't on social media so he said he could send her his number. She texted him to double check she had the right person. He said it was and that he was glad she was feeling better and he was happy to help. She offered him money or to take him for lunch which he declined and just said again that he was happy to help. They text back and forth every now and then, her initiating and it's mostly hey how are you hope you're well etc. Until she starts getting better and can ride again, it turns to, hey we should hit the trail, s sometime. Now, without tooting his horn for him, he's very good. Used to ride competitively when he was younger, same with much of the guys he rides with. Most people at the park know who they are and generally if they hear them coming, will just get to the side and watch them pass. He tries to decline her offer in a way not to offend her, but Therese no way she can keep up with them. There's a section that's just big jumps to practice on, he says maybe next time Hess on those he'll give her a shout and they can meet up there. Eventually that happens and he gives her a few tips. Which then turns into her texting him more often about biking, asking for him to tutor her and just general stuff. This goes on for the next couple months, there seems to be a friendship starting. I've never once had any concerns about this and was quite happy for him to continue, and they do. So yesterday, Monday, he went out with the dogs, and I bumped into her. Said they spoke for a while and went a cycle with the dogs to wind down before he came home. She started texting him when he got home and I can see these messages coming through the iPad as I was using it. To be clear, Hess not hiding the texts, he openly leaves his phone lying around, no passcode. Let's our daughter play on it. Happy for me to use it. Doesn't get weird or secretive about it in the slightest. He knows the iPad and laptop are linked to his phone and it can all be seen by anyone using them. He has never gave me cause for concern. It's her intentions I'm not too sure on at this point. So anyway. The dogs. We have three working gun dogs used in the fields regularly, and while they can look like they're running riot down these trails, they are extremely well trained and tuned into whatever my husband is doing. Which becomes more apparent when Hess not on the trails, and they're following watching his every move. These texts started on about the dogs for a bit when she sent a text which ended in the following. Like a slave looky, ing to please their master admittedly, I don't care for emojis and the texting garb people use nowadays. I don't even know what the face means frankly. But something about this made me feel icky, and I feel like Terry's an undertone going on here. He replied, but seemed to ignore that last comment. However this caused me to think slash look back on her communication, and feel like I've noticed a few red flags. 1. She always initiates. 2. If she doesn't get a reply, she seems to keep sending messages until he replies. 3. Not once has she ever referenced or acknowledged the fact that Hess married or has a family. Even when he mentioned that Hess been away from my birthday, or that Hess going to our daughter's dancing show. She'll change the subject as if she's pretending we don't exist, or to close down any mention of us. 4. She often makes excuses for them to meet up. One-on-one. -on -one. I'm sure Therese more, but I don't want to scour through every message and feed into this more than I already have in case it's nothing, but am I crazy for thinking there may be something going on with her? I don't want to bring it up in case it is nothing and I look like I'm being paranoid. It just isn't sitting right. I'm also pregnant, and the hormones are doing their thing. Should I say something? Update 1 for those asking why my husband hadn't been more abrupt with her, in a nutshell, he always tries to keep the peace. I downplayed how well known he is in our town. He comes from a well-known family in our area, and was a downhill rider in the UCI, and features in various YouTube channels. People come here specifically for the bike trails, and typically wherever he goes, Therese usually a handful of people who recognize him and want to say hello. It's not a huge town, everyone knows everyone kind of place, and, like anyone, he would never want people to come away from any interaction with him with a sour taste in their mouth. After our daughter was in bed I spoke with my husband, told him my thoughts, and he ag, read she was being inappropriate, and that he in no way done or said anything that would indicate he was alright with it. He hoped by ignoring it she would get the hint and leave him be. He didn't want to make things awkward or embarrass anyone and admitted he probably should have said something. So after reading everyone's comments, there were loads of amazing ways people suggested shutting her down, which in hindsight, would have been an amazing way to stop her in her tracks. 
however he didn't want to ruffle feathers so we went with a, we're starting to get ready for the baby and have lots to do slash prepare and simply don't have the time or energy to be spent on the bikes, or meetups and he will be unavailable to her for the foreseeable, suggestions. He typed it up, handed it to me for my approval, and I hit send. Minutes later his phone pings, I'm in the kitchen, Hess in the living room, and I see his eyebrows raise and he just looks at me. I go over and he just hands me the phone. The fucking neck on this girl astounds me. She replied, okay. Do you think we could meet up quickly tomorrow? My heart sank. And I knew exactly what that meant. I burst into tears. In my head this was the start of my world crumbling. My husband tried calming me down and asked me what I'd like him to do, block her there and then, or ask what she wants to see him for. I wish I'd just told him to block her, but for some reason I wanted to know more. He replied asking what meeting up would achieve. She just says Terry's stuff she would like to talk to him about face to face. I felt like I was literally being punched in the chest and being winded at this point. He eventually gets the point across that he is not going to meet with her and drags it out of her. She tells him that at some point feelings started, that turned into fantasies, and that basically he could do whatever he wanted to her. That I didn't need to know about it and she would be happy to keep it that way. As she put it our thing at wah, s more graphic than I'm willing to type. I felt like I was still keeping a level head on it until this point I lashed out got very, very angry. Started crying uncontrollably. My body was vibrating with anger. I've barely slept. Woke up crying. Felt like absolute shit all day today. I've already got in touch with our friends who run these Facebook groups she joined and asked them to remove her and make sure she doesn't join again. My husband replied last night and told me it's sorted and I don't have to worry about her. I didn't see the text he sent but it's there on the iPad, but I can't bring myself to even open the message app after seeing what I saw. It's not fair that someone thinks they can just do something like that regardless of how it's going to impact an entire family. Currently, I don't want him leaving the house. I don't want him to ever go back to the trails. I don't want the dogs even going up there. The fact she has even touched my dogs makes me sick. So there we are. I still feel like my life's slipping away from me. Like someone's trying to steal it. My confidence is shattered. My eyes sting. My head hurts from crying. Don't feel like eating. Don't think I've ever felt as low as I do just now. Husband's trying his best to comfort me, but it will take a while I guess. He feels very guilty, despite me telling him he's done nothing wrong. I can't believe how quickly my life just changed with a stupid text. So, thank you to everyone telling me to believe my gut. And everyone else who took the time to comment. Edit, I just want to add, I'm not controlling my husband. I'm not holding him hostage. He had to take them out today. The bike park is almost in our back garden. I'm describing how I feel just now. Like it's a personal attack on me and my family. And I know this happens all over the world. My eyes were never open to it. This man's baby is about to burst out of my body. I don't feel attractive in any sense of the word right now. I feel I'm well within my rights to be a little distraught after seeing a text from a much younger, much fitter girl describing in graphic detail the things she wants my husband to do to her. Update 3 So I had so many people telling me I'm crazy, overreacting, need therapy etc. I get it, I probably was overreacting, but also feel like some people just don't understand the places your head can go when you're heavily pregnant. I know what this girl looks like, and alongside my current self, had no idea why my husband would not take her up on her offer. I'd done nothing but compare myself to her and couldn't understand why he would stay with me if he was getting offers like that. Even to spitty my husband making me feel very loved and attractive every day, I convinced myself he found me repulsive. And that he would leave me. Madness I know. But I also had moments of clarity. It's been an emotional few weeks as it is. Did you read the text your husband sent to her? No I haven't. I ended up deleting the chat from the iPad because I didn't want to see her messages. He told me something along the lines of, I've no idea how or if I've gave you the signal that I was looking for something like that, but I can assure you I'm not and I don't appreciate the attempt to pull my family apart. Delete my number, don't try to contact me, do not try and talk to me if you see me out and about. You've caused a great amount of stress to my family and especially my wife, who is expecting very soon, and has access to every message you've sent to me. Leave me alone. Lots of people also commented that I've handled this way better than they would have. Truth be told, I'm constantly seesawing between trying to forget this even happened, and texting or calling her myself. But I realize the longer I leave it to do this, the more pathetic I'll look. Trying to take the high road. But I'm not going to lie, this has been extremely hard. I also want to focus on the baby and not this right now. All in though I feel much better than I did a few days ago. Oh, knee thing I've taken from this and far too many people reached out to me to say the same as how amazing my husband really is. I feel like I've taken him for granted after reading some stories people have shared privately and I'm so lucky to share my life with him. So that's it. I didn't plan on making an update again but I've still been getting so many messages asking the same things. But this will be the last. Thanks for all the responses, and the few crazies also sending me horrible messages, I know you're reading this. Take care. Oop, so this is something we've actually joked about. Hess not a celebrity by any means, but just the area we're in, people come here specifically for biking, and he gets recognized a lot. 
and 99% of the time it's people from out of town who want to stop and say hi, etc. So Therese never really been the worry of any nutters stalking him, and the biking people as a whole seem to be very down-to-earth people who just like being outside. It's never brought up any worries until now.